So we should probably, speaking of Dexter, transition into the other Sunday night mm-hmm. Showtime thing. And, and this, this is, is I mean, this is something that transition. we've talked about off off screen a lot. So we good luck talk. keeping this short. Yeah, is all I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's not a secret at all, at all, how much I crazy, crazy, crazy adore Homeland. I think I scared this one a little bit with how no, much I, I love it. it. No, but I think just in a different the, way. The way I express it scares <laughs> you a little bit. Um, and I will say one of the most intense things I've seen on television. This we're doing the season right now, but in the right. entire year mm. was the question, and a- the Q and A mm-hmm. episode of Homeland, and the question and answering, the interrogation of, with Carrie and Brody. And you know, these two are so. I probably shouldn't say the word I want to say, but they're it's so. It's the internet. Up. You can say whatever you want. Okay, uh, okay fine. I was afraid for delicate ears. They're so fucked up. Yeah. But at the same time, they are the most captivating, captivating duo on television. Mm-hmm. Like, I cannot turn away from them. Like, I literally, uh, Homeland is one of the only shows that I literally put everything down and mm-hmm. just focus on the television. And watching those two interact for 15 minutes is something that you cannot right. get done on network television. As amazing as network television is, you cannot have a scene like that due Honestly, to the nature of commercials. Do you think you could do that on most cable shows either? No. That's the thing. I think that's I mean, what makes it such a yeah. special moment. I mean, I think I think it takes the strength of two incredible actors who have that kind of chemistry to be able to make you engage in the scene for 15 minutes. Right. I mean, I like, it was I remember sitting there and just going I ne- this feels like it's going on forever and so short at the same time and I never wanted to end because Everything had been building up to this. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's like it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a season-defining moment in so much as that you know it was so early mm-hmm. in what happened. But it's just those two when you watch them together, it's unreal. And just where that then took the rest of the season, right. where it's taking in, God knows where it's going to end up. It's just. I, we're weeks after this at this point, and I still can't stop thinking about that scene because mm-hmm. I've watched it multiple times. It's just so incredible to view. Yeah, and so and I mean, it's just dialogue, and it's just cutting back and forth between them. So I mean, I said this like I feel like it's kind of the masterclass in acting and writing because <sighs> so as amazing as they are, like could you imagine if that was Some not other written well? I know I didn't. I'm not going to name no. any names, but like, could you imagine? Like, you would you would say, "Oh, it felt like it went on for an hour and not in a good way," right? Because that, you know, 15 minutes on television is a long time. Oh yeah, I mean, and especially considering how short these seasons are. Yeah. You, you think about the percentage of the season that it actually was, right? But it's just that it's still resonating with me mm-hmm. all these weeks later, and I just love this show so much. Mm-hmm. It's so good, and you know what? Haters gonna hate. I don't think there are very many. I mean, there, there are some, but they're no. not. I don't think they're straight out haters. I, I think they're just you're gonna you're gonna find flaws everywhere. Right. If, if it's not exactly what you want it to be. Right. So, I know that very well. Yes. 